Hi guys, I'm Johnny Chivers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a data engineer with over 10 years experience, working primarily Monday to Friday in the financial services sector, five times AWS certified, and I like nothing more in my free time than making videos for this very YouTube channel. So in today's beginner's guide series, we're gonna take a look at using Glue to do machine learning algorithms. We've already covered Glue in other lessons, so I'll put a link to the top now to the 101 series where we go over Glue in depth. Today is purely looking at the machine learning aspect of AWS Glue. We're gonna take an example that AWS gave us as a tutorial, where we're going to data match a series of records together that are publication lists. So this is just a big file that AWS gave us that contain information about publications such as title, author, and year. We're then going to run an ML algorithm over it to say that this record looks like this record and we think it's the same book or we think it's the same scientific paper, i.e. we think it's the same publication. I'm going to take you through all the steps now on the console and we'll just run through it from start to finish. It takes about 15 minutes of the video lesson, but the actual processing time will bring it up to 45 minutes to an hour for yourself. So set aside an hour and then let's get going. Join me on the console. Okay guys, that's me logged into the AWS console. There's a link in the description where I put the commands and a code file of what I'm going to use during this. You can either just follow along with me on screen or you can copy and paste from here, whatever works out the easiest for you. So the first thing to do is go to AWS Gloop. I am working out of the North Virginia region. If you are following along with me, I am doing everything in North Virginia and that includes the commands. So if you're working in a different region, you'll have to alter them. I'll show you where to alter them, but it is easier just for us all to be in the same region. So I am in North Virginia. So the first thing I want to do is add a crawler. So if we go down the left hand side and we go crawlers and we go add crawler, give your crawler a name. I'm going to go over to the text and I want to call it this name here and we hit enter. We're going to use data stores and we're going to crawl all folders. It's an S3 connection. It's in another account. And we want to take this S3 link. So this is an AWS tutorial. So all the data is provided for us. So it's that S3 link. I'm in US East 1. So this remains the same. If you're in a different region, you need to go in and change that US East 1 to the region you're in. Not all regions have this data set. So be careful. Again, it's easier if we're all just in North Virginia. Hit next, add another data store, hit next. I am rule, either choose an existing rule, which I have plenty of to give it access, or alternatively, you can go and create a new I am rule that has the permissions. You will have to assign those permissions. So for me, and if you've done plenty of tutorials with me before, I have a glue full access rule. So I'm just gonna use that I am rule. If not, go and create your own rule, come back, add it in. Run on demand and choose a database. So we're going to add a database and then the database name is going to be the same as the crawler name, just for simplicity. There we go and hit create. Then hit next, accept everything with finish. Crawler is created, click on it, run crawler. And then I'm just gonna pause the video here. This takes about two minutes usually to run. Just keep clicking this refresh button on the top right hand side as always. And once it's completed, it will tell you that there has been a table added. So I'll pause the video here and then we can pick it up once that crawler is finished. Okay guys, as you can see, that took about three minutes in total. I just kept hitting that refresh button until my one table was added. Nothing really happens for two minutes on the UI sometimes and then it just all clicks together at the last minute. So that's our crawler added. And if we go into databases and you hit the refresh button again, and you click on the demo crawler, you go to tables and demo crawler and our table is there. If you click on the table, you can see that we have ID, title, authors, venue, year and source. And as I explained at the intro of the video, if you watch that part, what we're going to do is just match records. So the ML algorithm is going to go over title, authors, venue, year, and source. And it's going to say, okay, what other rows or records in this data set look similar? And then match them together off a preformed algorithm. So the next thing we need to do is set up that transformation. So down the left hand side, we have ML transforms. Let's click on that and go add transform. Transform name, again, I'm going to use the one that is over here without that full stop. Just copy and paste. And then the rule, as I said, I always have a full access rule. 
on hand. So I'm just going to use that one. Again, you can use the one that you set up for the crawler or you can configure a new one for the purposes of this ML transformation. I'll leave the IAM rules completely up to you. Click next. Then in terms of the source data, well, I've only got one source in this uh, region, so it's going to be it. It is the one we just scanned in. So if you've more data than what you have from the crawler, then just make sure you pick up the right one. Primary key is the ID column. Next tune, we don't need to do anything here. And then we say finish. Excellent. It's set up. As you can see, it needs training. So if we just click onto it and we say actions, teach transformation. You will click I have labels and you will want to upload labels from S3. Click that and over here I put the S3 location to the labels. Again, I am working out of US East 1 so that's why it says US East 1 here. AWS provide all these labels for us. Change that code part. There's that little section to the region you're working out of if you're not in North Virginia. But again, word of warning, not every region has this data set. So then click upload. That's uploading. Give it about 10 seconds and we should see that complete. There you go. Next, we want to go estimate quality. So we say next and we hit estimate transform quality. This will take a few seconds. So I'll pause the video here and we can pick it up once we're ready to go. Okay, guys, this estimate transform quality has been going for about five minutes now. What I'm actually going to do is click finish and then I'm going to just watch it from its actual tab. So click finish. And then hopefully when I click onto it, and I go to estimated quality, it's actually finished. Actually finished, oh, finished right now. <laughs> so it actually finished right now. So there's a little tip for you. Just click finish and then click into the actual estimated quality tab and you can see that it's ready to go. And because this is a predefined uh, data, you can see everything's 100%. Great, so the next thing we need to do is actually set up the job itself. So over on the left-hand side, we go jobs, we go add job. Name-wise, I'm just going to call this demo ETL. Role, I always have a trusty, as I said, full access role on hand for these demos. Glue version, we need to choose uh, Glue 1.0 with Scala. Glue 2 is not supported at the moment. Uh, script file name, we'll just call it the same as the job name. I already have buckets that it's going to write to, and we click Next. Data source, well, we only have one, so let's click next. Then we want to do find matching uh, records. Leave everything else. Do not click remove duplicate records because we're trying to data match the records. We want to leave them in and click next. Then for select a transform, we hit this one and we go to the transform name that we set up previous. You can see that that primary key is ID and we click next. And then we just want to create a table in our data target. We'll use S3. We'll save it in CSV format, no compression. Target path. So we can use one of the buckets that you may have already set up, depending on uh, your account and what you're doing. If not, go find somewhere. So I'm just going to use a demo bucket that I have lying around um, for a glue demo bucket. Again, you can put it anywhere you want. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to put it in this input bucket. And then save job and edit script. Okay, and that's our code. So I'm just going to add a little bit of custom code to make this quicker. So where it has find matches to, what we want to do is actually transform this into a single partition. So again, you can follow along. So I'm just going to put in val single partition equals. Then it's find matches to, which is this. dot repartition just double check that's spelt correctly R E P A R T I T I O N then inside here we put a one so we want to just make this a single partition then when we're actually writing out our options it's down here and we're writing out that single partition so rather than writing out the data frame we're writing out that single partition just ensure we haven't actually deleted anything else here. We can check to make sure that job commit is there. Once that's done, we want to save. And then we want to click run job. So run job, run job. Job is off and running. We can just watch it down here 
in the execution logs. And again, that was just important there, that single partition to one, and then we're writing out that partition here. I'll pause the video. This can take about 10 minutes sometimes, and then we can pick it up. Okay, guys, again, this has been running for about five minutes. So what I'm going to do is hit this X button, and then I'm actually going to monitor it from the job page because it's easier. So you can see it's currently running. As you can see, don't hit that stop button. And then I'm just going to keep hitting refresh until we're done. Okay, guys, that's a complete. As you can see, it took nine minutes to actually start the ML transformation, but it finished in three and it has succeeded. So let's take a look at the results. It's over on S3 and obviously you'll have a different bucket than me. So go to the bucket that makes sense uh, for you where you put those results. I did it in my demo glue bucket that I always have to hand. Then go into the part input file that you can see here. This is the one that I did. And I'm just going to open that, which will download. Then I want to show in Finder. I'm just going to open this with text edit and drag it across on the screen. So as you can see, we have all this data. And what has happened here is that basically anything that has the same match ID on this last column has been a matched record. So that's a bit complicated. But basically what it's saying is that anything that has a match ID on this last column is a record. But as you can see, it's kind of hard to see anything. So I'm going to bring this across. And what I'm going to do is actually change what the file type is. So if I go to get info, and that's the same as doing right hand click on your Windows PC, if that's what it is, name and file extension. And I'm going to change this to .csv. And I want to add that. Then I have a CSV file and I want to open that with numbers. And you can open that with Excel. And I'm going to sort my entire table. So that's the same as doing a sort in, um, in Excel. And I want to sort it on match ID, which is here. So anything, as you can see, that has the same match ID is decided as the same record. So match ID 11. And it's decided that these two records are the same here. And as you can see, that makes sense. You can see here that it's got match ID too, and nope, doesn't have any matches. Then as you can see from here, match ID three and three. And again, you can see that, that yeah, probably the same record. Uh, although as you can see on authors, they're very much different, but then very large data set bases, VLVB, it's got it together, same title. The authors, as you can see are the wrong way round, but it's picked it up. Same year. And this goes on for the entire data set if you download it. As you can see then, it's decided, you know, on this kind of side here, these two are the same. And if you look at it, you know, the names are very messed up here because it's in a foreign language, but it said these are the same people actually. And then if we look at the book title, it's pretty much the same. And it's decided that that is the same title. So that's kind of it for today, guys. It's a pretty in-depth one where you just need to keep doing things until you get it right. Um, just practice and practice and practice setting everything up and you'll get there eventually. So as usual, I've been Johnny Chivers. Um, I'll make all this information for free on my website. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.